So we're working our way through these options. I'm going to go ahead and undo back to where we just had our original uh, plane kind of sitting here. And for allow shrink and allow expand, what I'm going to do is hit W to go into gizmo mode. And you're going to see when I start collapsing this in, it's not going to do anything because uh, we have B, T, R. Uh, selected, which is just regular transpose. It's not going to collide with anything, even though we have collision volumes, it doesn't care. Uh, however, we go to BTC, which is transpose cloth. Now, when I start collapsing this, uh, it's going to start wanting to, again, maintain those relationships. Eventually, we're going to start getting some wrinkles. Let's go in here to geometry. I'm going to, we have dynamic turned on, so we have thickness. I'm going to hit control D or hit divide to give us a little more geometry to work with. So as we're crunching this down, it's giving it more geometry to kind of think about. As well as, I'm going to go in here and give us a smooth preview so we get a little bit of a, a smoother preview. I'm going to switch over here to our matcap gray, and I'm going to hold down Alt. I'm going to turn this so I'm looking, uh, the gizmo's looking at the corners, and I'm going to scale along here. And you can see now the wrinkles will go in that direction as I collapse this in. And as I, if I just wiggle, yeah, this is going to be a weird kind of thing, but if you sit here and wiggle the simulation, again, these simulation iterations happen on movement. So as you're using a cloth brush, or as it's as the gravity simu run simulation is causing movement, it's recalculating on movement. Same thing here. If I just sit here and wiggle, uh, if I go through here, we haven't gotten to this yet, but if I go through here and inflate and just wiggle this, it's going to simulate and inflate as you're moving the object. And if all your movement is is just a little bit of a wiggle, that's fine. It's just going to calculate uh, and inflate every single time you move that mesh. But we'll go ahead and turn that off. We'll get to inflate in a second. But for now, we're talking about allow shrink and allow expand. So when I went through here, let's undo back, and I go through here and I start uh, shrinking this cloth with the cloth transpose, eventually it's, again, it's trying to maintain these relationships, but eventually we're going to tell it, you know what? Those relationships are going to have to give and you're going to have to start wrinkling in order to maintain that surface volume. As, as we make the surface area smaller, those edges have to go somewhere. So they're going to start bunching up. They're going to start kind of moving around uh, again in space. Like it's going to start moving along the z-axis, kind of wrinkling in that direction because again as we're, as we're decreasing the volume that it's allowed to have, it has to go somewhere. So that's going to tell the algorithm, okay, you're going to have to pop up or pop down uh, in order to, as this surface area shrinks, you know, in order to maintain these relationships and maintain the actual overall surface area, it's not changing that much. But as the user is telling it, you don't have as much room in this direction. It's gonna it's gonna maintain those relationships by adding more surface area in another direction. In this case, the z direction, causing wrinkles. So that's uh, <laughs> this this simulation in a nutshell. Again, it's all about maintaining those relationships and surface area. And the more or the less surface area you give it, the more it's going to need to bunch up to maintain that original surface area. It's got to go somewhere, right? So now if we go back to our plane here and we tell it, you know what, allow shrink. What that's going to do is allow me to ignore those relationships. It's going to let me shrink all day long. I'm going to go ahead and hold down Alt and reset it so we're kind of laterally uh, across here again. So if I'm ever using the cloth transpose and it's like, okay, I want to go ahead and start colliding with these underlying surfaces. And uh, if I have allow shrink off and I start shrinking this down this way, it's going to start wrinkling uh, with these lateral wrinkles here. However, if I say, you know what, allow shrink, it's going to ignore those edge relationships. It'll still collide with the underlying surface. You see it's it'll still work fine. It's still going to collide, no problem, but it's not going to cause any wrinkling because it's going to ignore these collapsing relationships. Now, it's not going to be very cloth-like, but it will be very nice if you want to kind of stick one surface to another. Sometimes allow shrink is a way to do that uh, and avoid wrinkles. So if you turn off allow shrink and just kind of start scaling this stuff in, now you're going to get a very shrink-wrapped surface. Let's go ahead and undo back. Same thing for expand. Uh, if we go through here and we don't have allow expand or allow shrink on, and I start growing this, um, it's going to want to, it's going to want to maintain those relationships here. So as I'm trying to like shrink this or maybe even grow this, it's going to eventually cap me out. As I'm trying to like scale up, it's going to be like you can't go that far because if you increase that surface area any more, I don't know what to do with these edge relationships. I can't let you scale more because it, it, I 
I'm not allowed to. I, you're telling me I'm a simulation, I need to maintain the surface area, but now you're trying to tell me I need to grow that surface area. That doesn't compute. That doesn't seem right. They, they don't want to let you do that because these edge calculations, these iterations are telling you, maintain the surface area. Well, now let's grow. Well, I can't grow because that's going to change these relationships and I need to maintain those. So what you can do if you want to scale an object up with the cloth brush and have it, you know, temporarily or not, um, allow you to expand or allow you to scale those relationships regardless of those original edge relationships. You can go through here. It's like, okay, you know what? Cloth, I get it. I want to allow shrink and I can scale this down, no problem. Or I want to allow expand and I want to be able to scale up and not have you yell at me about relationships. So if you need to make a quick change to a scale relationship and not have it try and fight you, um, turn off allow shrink and allow expand. But now when you're ready to go, okay, now don't allow any of those, act like a real simulation, maintain these relationships. This is where you can go, okay, I want to expand, but cap me because it's a claw simulation and I don't want to stress those surface area relationships any more than I need to. And same thing for contraction. You know, again, allow shrink, we'll let you shrink it, no problem. Uh, if this is off, that it's going to try and maintain those relationships in that surface area. And now you're telling it less space, same surface area, it's got to go somewhere. Now it's going to wrinkle as you shrink this.